Let's get now to the latest in the fight against the Delta COVID variant. While vaccines and boosters are getting all the headlines, a spike in cases has actually led to a need for more treatments. Regeneron, Glaxo, Eli Lilly, they're all among the companies working on antibody drugs. Let's bring in Meg Terrell with more on this overlooked angle of the story. Meg. Hey, Kelly, so some of these drugs have been available on the U.S. market since last fall from Eli Lilly and Regeneron. And of course, Regeneron's drug was used to treat President Trump when he got sick with COVID-19. Now there's also one on the market from Veer Biotechnology, partnered with GSK. Dr. Fauci last week touting these treatments, saying that early treatment with these antibody drugs can reduce hospitalization or death from COVID by 70 to 85 percent. They're indicated for people at high risk of severe disease, either because of age or underlying health conditions. But until recently, really the, just the last six weeks, we haven't seen them be used really widely. But Regeneron tells us that from early July to now, the usage or at least the shipment of these doses has gone up by sixfold from less than 25,000 doses before mid-July per week to now more than 150,000. HHS also tells us they've seen significant increases in ordering uh, in recent weeks, primarily from areas <clears throat> with lower vaccination rates. And you can see here that region in the southeast accounts for almost half of the orders we've seen since July 1st. And then uh, the area around Texas for about a third of the orders we've been seeing. Veer Biotechnology CEO telling us he's concerned there could be a potential shortage of these drugs. They're the only company that does not have a government purchase order. Uh, Eli Lilly and Regeneron both do. And Regeneron right now says that supply looks to be plentiful, as does HHS. Lilly's drug actually had been paused uh, for a time in the United States because its combination wasn't working against some of the variants. The FDA says it does work against the Delta variant and now has been unpaused in these 22 yellow states where the uh, resistant variants are less prevalent, Kelly. So uh, these drugs really getting a lot more use now um, yeah. in lower vaccinated areas. I, unfortunately, you. friends of ours in Florida, this is literally what's happened to them over the past couple of weeks. Um, I'm curious as people are starting to speculate about whether Delta has quote unquote peaked. What can you tell us just generally speaking about case count hospitalizations? I suppose it's people trying to find some comfort as these numbers continue to spike. The numbers are really scary. 100,000 people in the hospital right now with COVID. These are numbers we didn't expect to see again after the vaccines really started getting rolling, getting rolled out broadly. Uh, I have seen some notes suggesting that at least the pace of the increases has been slowing, and that is some good news, but it's not the news that you're looking for, which was the case numbers and the hospitalization numbers and death numbers being as low as they were back in June. Uh, and now with schools going back into session, there's a lot of concern concern about what we'll continue to see throughout the fall. Yeah, no, we're talking, you know, to some of our neighbors and saying, do we need to set up little bubbles again for the winter? And it's like, I don't want to deal with this all over again. Uh, but here mm -hmm. we go. Meg, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Our Meg Terrell with the very, very latest on the COVID thanks. front.